What's going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of G4 Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a full review of the Toro 60 volt 22 inch battery operated mower. Well as I look up and I ask, can I please just catch a break? I got my Dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling, and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling, and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures, and they're loaded in my pack. All, all right, so again, like all the other videos, huge shout out to Toro. Thank you guys very much for sending all this equipment out here for me to review. Uh, guys, I'm bringing all this out here for you. I hope you enjoy all the videos. If you haven't yet, at the end of this video, go back and check out the Toro playlist. I have all of their battery powered equipment out for review and testing. I have all that done. The mower is the last thing that I have to do. Later on in the year, I have the chainsaw and I have the snow blower coming. So please hit that subscribe button, stick around for all that. Now, let's get into the deep review on this mower. All right, so this is just going to be a quick overview. If you haven't yet, go back and check the unboxing. This is a 60 volt, 6.0 amp battery. Very big, not really heavy, but uh, for the size of it, this is a lot better than putting multiple batteries in your mower. This is very simple. Plug it in there, you're ready to go. This also has a quick folding system to where you can fold it up just like this, take the bagger off, Let's lock these down. This easily stands up in your garage and tucks out of the way. Put your handle up for mowing mode. Sure did. Okay, now what we have right here is a mulching setup and that's with the side discharge chute down. It's in mulching mode. Back here you have a hole to where you can run it to your bagger and it also has a lever to close that off. The bagger, very easy to put on, just like that, put it in bagging mode, you're ready to go. Uh, with the grass chute, it's as easy as opening this up, laying the grass chute on here, letting the lid fall and you're all ready to go. Uh, the key system, super easy, you just have a small key right here, put it in here easy easy start push the key pull the handle believe it or not it's running super super quiet all right so now let's see how let's see how it mulches let's see how it discharges and let's see how it bags So it is very easy with the personal pace. You, you walk at your own leisure pace. Uh, if you're out for an exercise, pick it up a little bit. This thing will keep right up with you. It's not a jog, it's just a quick walk. But uh, so far from what I see, uh, you will see like a straggler right here. Uh, first time mowing the yard, I kind of missed an overlap. So understandable here, 
Uh, other than that. So, you know, there's a couple pieces sticking up, but it's in mulch mode. So things are a little different under the deck right now. The optimal cutting on this machine is going to be discharge or bagging. So let's move into those next. All right, so we got the mulch or the uh, discharge kit on right there right now. Now, like I said, there was a couple stragglers laying out there, but that was on the mulch setting. When you're on mulch, uh, you have a lot of forces going against you. Everything's contained inside of there, so there's there's a lot of battles going on in there. With a discharge chute, it allows airflow, sucking grass up, pushing grass out. That's my theory. Let's see if it's true. So quiet. All right, first pass. I started right here and then I moved off with the discharge. Noticeably different. Um, now I told you if this thing cuts, it's gonna, it's, it'll be revolutionary to run into complete battery power. This thing cuts very good. It doesn't make much noise. So it's kind of hard to understand that this actually does have the power to get through what it needs to get through. Uh, side note. The grass is a little bit dry today. It's not thick and lush, but it's it's still there is no noise of a power dive in this at all at all. So, you know, we're not working with much. We're not cutting much off the top, but still yet. Uh, you know, my first time mowing with it, I'm completely satisfied with it so far, so far. And uh, I'll tell you what I did. I called up Toro today, made sure I had some numbers right, and I told them you know, if, if I had a yard that I had to push mow, I would be more than willing to completely buy the Toro battery powered lineup. It's, it's really good stuff. Again, go back, check those videos out, please. Uh, so that was side discharging. Let's see how the bagger does. So that's that's uh that's all let's see what's in the bag uh like i say not cutting much off the top but as far as cut quality it's it's cutting it's definitely cutting the grass i'm not seeing i, I see old stuff here from their lawnmower where the grass is brown on top where it's slapping it all of my cuts, let's really dig in here. All of them, look at that, really nice cut. Uh, that has to do with a, a sharp blade as well. Uh, this is all bagged, hi guys. This is all bagged up right here. And I know this isn't gonna be an extreme example, but let's see if we hear a difference in the power. <laughs> uh, out of the, out of that whole bag it mulched all that up 
Now something that I did here that I didn't know that Toro actually did on these mowers. Did you hear the mower rev up after it went through here? It felt a, uh, a surcharge of energy needed. So as that, as that started, it didn't bog down. As that started to bog down, the mower RPMs went up so there's actual electronics in here telling it you need more power. So that actually saves battery life. If, uh, if you're not cutting a lot, like this yard today, we're not cutting much off of it. It's a little bit dry. Your battery's going to last, last a ton longer because this mower knows that it's not needing all that energy. That's a super cool feature. So just the technology going into these battery mowers, it's not just a battery and a mower. There's a lot of electronics going on in here. Uh, so yeah, as you see, it bagged just fine. It discharged just fine, and it mulched just fine. Uh, I wouldn't expect anything more out of any other push mower that I used. Alright guys, and take it for what it's worth, I'm behind the camera today, so I'm the cameraman. It's not like I'm someone that actually owns a lawn and landscape company or anything like that. But where I really see this mower shine is going to be your elderly, uh, someone that doesn't have a lot of power or energy or the muscle to finagle a lot of these mowers. I notice a giant weight difference in this compared to a lot of your other average push mowers out in the market. So as far as pivoting my turns going down, this thing is super light. There's nothing to it. Plus with the feature of the personal pace, it just kind of keeps going through your turns. So I definitely see this shine for maybe someone that just had surgeries or something and maybe your shoulders or your arms aren't working. This thing is really, really easy to maneuver and manage around obstacles. And that's something I really like about it. Like I said, it's super light. There's nothing to it compared to your gas and bigger engine mowers, which like he said, we're gonna be getting into those too. But I just wanted to bring that up from my perspective of just using it. I own a couple push mowers and some commercial push mowers as well. And this thing is super light. So if you're looking for something that's light and easy to maneuver, this may be that thing for you guys. So guys, that was just a quick review on this. We bagged with it, it did just fine. We mulched with it, it did just fine. We discharged with it, it did just fine. Uh, can't really see too many stripes. As I haven't pushed a mower in probably 15 years, I don't want to do it anymore either. Uh, I got a nice Toro time cutter over at the house. Check out those videos if you're interested in those. But anyways, other than that, please hit that playlist for the Toro. I have a Toro playlist on all of the battery powered equipment. Go up there and hit those. Uh, check out all of these. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the new 60 volt power systems, battery systems on the new Toro lawn equipment. Guys, I'm digging them. I really am. Uh, also hit that subscribe button because we'll have some more Toro videos coming out for you. Hit that like button. It's free. Just do it for me. If you don't like it, hit it twice. Deal. All right. So uh, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. I'm out. Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday. Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass